My heart is bleeding inside. Oh my God, I'm dead. I just got so nervous. What is happening right now? Oh, you're gonna make me cry. This is like one of my favorite days of my life. Hey, what's up, Glamour? It's Gwen Stefani and you sing my song. Wow, this is literally giving my, like my heart is bleeding inside. What? I'm gonna cry right now. It's just hard to imagine when you write a song about your own like personal like experience and then you see someone else like channel it like this. It's, so incredible. What? It's got like a ukulele or something. It was just a very important song in my in my journey. So to hear her sing it in such a um, beautiful, like heartfelt, like tender, feminine way was just really like I love everything about that. She was on the voice and audition. I do remember that, to be honest. He actually texted me from set, and he's like, you're not gonna believe it. Some girl just covered Cool, and I was like, that song? Like, I've never heard anyone cover it before, so to do it on TV just seemed like extreme. Okay, Lily, let's just get to it. That was an amazing cover of Cool. You seriously, like, pulled my heartstrings, and you are adorable. You have the hair that I always wanted, and I hope that we get to cross paths one day. You're magic. Oh my God, this, no. <laughs> my heart is beating so fast right now. Wow, this is literally giving my, like my heart is bleeding inside. That's crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> what? I'm gonna cry right now. Oh, I don't want to cry right now. Oh I remember God. he actually texted me from set and he's like, you're not going to No, so I didn't know that. Oh my cool. God, he actually like, texted her like, about me. To hear her sing it in such a um, beautiful, like tender, feminine way was just really like, I, would, I loved it. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> God, that like validates so much. Like coming from someone who's been such like an icon for so long and been a big part of like my life and like developing as artists to like hear her say that I did her song justice is like, oh my, I, I, like I literally, I don't know what to do right now. And she's just like the ultimate like feminist. So it's like, it's really cool. Like, I actually made Gwen Stefani emotional, like, what? It makes me feel like I have something special. What? What is happening right now? <laughs> This is like one of my favorite days of my life. I'm gonna tell you that right now because I love this so much. I'm so blown away. It's so creative and so weird. Things what that money could bring. I'd buy everything. Clean out Vivian Westwood in my daddy's have just one okay, I have got to post this on my thing. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. They literally took the original, like, Fiddler on the Roof, like, thing, and then took my lyrics. Semitone, guys, uh, I love what you did with my lyrics, and it just shows that <laughs> when you mix things up and go back to the old school, it's it's very interesting. That is this is a very interesting moment. Thank you so much for doing this. I definitely need to share this with everyone that hasn't seen it. And um, thank you. Oh. <laughs> oh my word. Wow. Wow. I can't believe you guys did this. Okay. 
okay, I have got to post this on my thing. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Semitone, guys, uh, I love what you did with my lyrics. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> that's so cool. Goodness me. It's really gratifying. It's really nice. We always wanted her to see it, and she's so huge that it's not an easy thing to make happen. It's really nice how down to earth she seems. I think that's actually really important and how, you know, music is, it is complicated and there are things you have to know, but at the same time, it's actually deeply simple and human. Like it connects with people on a quite a simple level. And I think the way she was talking about the piece, it clearly connected with her and that's really nice. And it doesn't have to be much more than that. And uh, if she ever wants to do a joint performance, I would always be game. <laughs> So the hair, <laughs> let's just talk about the hair first. I love that hair. That's like my favorite hair ever that I would wish I could have. My best friend, I can't believe this could be the end. Wow. It looks as though you're letting go. And if it's real, well, I don't want to know. Don't speak. I would have never ever imagined a song, this song done in this style, but it kind of reminds me a bit of like a Lauryn Hill kind of Fuji's like version of Don't Speak, which is like right up my alley. <laughs> it's like super fan. So the fact that I get to now be rewarded with seeing, you know, different cultures interpret one of the songs that I wrote about my heart being cracked open that I never thought anyone would hear is just, it's pretty like incredible how music heals and how music is love and love is just bringing us all together. So I'm gonna um, sit back and relax and watch a little bit more of you making out with some guy on a bed. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so please stop explaining, don't tell me cause it hurts. Don't spray. Leela. This is my favorite cover of Don't Speak I've ever heard because this song is actually really hard to sing. And I think that sometimes like singers like try to over sing it and it, it just sounds weird because I'm not like a super amazing singer. I kind of just sing with what I got. So when it's sung like from a really good singer, it sounds weird <laughs> to me. I come from Anaheim, California and I don't know where you're from, but you are super cool. Way cooler than me. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so the hair. <laughs> Let's just talk about the hair first. I love that hair. Ah! Oh, you're going to make me cry. This is just super cool. Oh. Way cooler than me. Oh. I mean, you made this song sound so cool oh. and sexy. So I'm gonna um, sit back and relax and watch a little bit more of you making out with some guy on a bed. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> yeah. This is the, my favorite cover of Don't Speak I've ever heard, by the way. Leela, this is my favorite cover of Don't Speak I've ever heard. Oh my gosh, I'm about to cry. I just remember when we did that song and I was had gone through a terrible breakup myself and just, oh my gosh, I'm so, man, I'm trying to keep it real gangster right now. But, and so to hear her actually years later say this, is like, I almost feel like, ah, cool. Like somebody heard me, somebody listening. I'm so proud of her, her legacy. Um, she's a mother. I'm a mother. I've watched her. I follow her career. And she's dope. She's so cute. <laughs> she's still fly. Take this pink ribbon off my eyes. I'm exposed. It's no big surprise. The world is forcing me to hold your hand. I 
I haven't said anything yet because it's just a lot. It's a lot to take in. And the song is basically a sarcastic thing that I'm saying. So when you hear it and the chords are like this and it's kind of like tender, it starts to make you feel sort of like you're feeling sorry for yourself. But I wasn't feeling sorry for myself. I was just saying how I felt. It's all those little things that I feel. Oh, I'm just a girl, guess I'm some kind of freak. The fact that now all these years later that she's cut, you know, footage of a, a you know, women's march and um, just her interpretation, it's, it's really, I feel really honored. I was in a band with all guys. There was zero, like, other girls in the scene that we were in in Orange County. And I can remember being, like, getting to the club and everyone just assuming I was a, like, a groupie girlfriend that was there. And it wasn't something that I was angry about. It, it was just, it was what it was, you know what I mean? And I just was like, okay, well, I'm gonna slap you around when I get on stage and I'm gonna convert you into believing that I have a reason to be here. So it was a lot of fun. Hi, Kate, it's Gwen Stefani. Um, you cover Just a Girl. I'm really honored that you would cover it and I think it's a really cool version. It's really way different um, like view of the song. And I think that that's what is magical, that a song that has such a, a strong point of view could be somebody else's point of view as well. And uh, so congratulations and thank you for sharing that with me. Take this pink what? off my eyes. I'm exposed. It's no big surprise. I just got so nervous. <laughs> oh my god. I know exactly where I stand. This is crazy. <laughs> I don't even know what to think about that. Like it's so different from like where I was at at the time when I was writing this song. I'm I'm honored that Kate Thank you ah. for your interpretation. Oh my song. God. And I think it's a really cool version. It's really way, like a way different um, like view of the song. And I think that that's what is magical, that a song that has such a, a strong point of view could be somebody else's point of view as well. And uh, so congratulations and thank you for sharing that with me. I was like, <gasps> Shut up, that is so crazy. I can't believe she sat and like watched it. That is so wild. When you cover a song like that, you don't really think they'll ever <laughs> see it. Wow, pretty crazy that I, you know, was able to <laughs> give her a new perspective on her song. <laughs> That's pretty wild, That's so wild. The cool thing about the song Just a Girl to me is how relevant the lyrics are uh, still today, especially with this whole women's movement and the women's marches and stuff like that. So I felt like it was kind of important, you know, uh, to to highlight that. Thank you for all you've done for uh, the music industry and women in music and women who write their own songs and women who are constantly surrounded by men. I think it's just so important that this song exists. Um, thank you. At first, I wasn't even hearing Hollaback Girl, like I didn't even know what song it was. This is interesting too, because when you see the visual of this, this reminds me of our very first video that no doubt ever did called Trapped in the Box. The actual, this looks so much like that to me. It reminds me of that, except for the, her dress is way more fancy and probably way more money. This is so bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S. This is so bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S. She definitely reminds me of my old me. Back in the day, like growing up, I was obsessed with anything like vintage or old or like any kind of old movies. Like my whole thing was procrastinating from life by watching like Turner classic movies. And I just was so into the style, the makeup, the, the sparkle. And you know, sometimes you just love what you love. So this is, this is perfect. All other girls
everybody's so creative and they can take something and make it their own, it's cool. So Robin, you definitely remind me of the old me. I used to be very influenced by this time period as well that I can see you're influenced by, so I feel you. I've seen this before, Robin. Oh my God, I'm dead. She definitely reminds me of my old me. Like, I think that oh, is this real? back in the day, like growing up, I was obsessed with anything like vintage or old I'm or gonna like- I'm Has this been on the um, internet? I don't, didn't know anybody's like- She is like the prettiest like, person on earth. Like, or who they were. I just was so into the style, the makeup. This is, this is perfect. I feel you. Oh, oh my God. Like, I'm shook right now. <laughs> It's so weird to hear her say my name. Like that's like, I'm just so honored that it caught her eye and her ear and that she could appreciate, you know, not just the cover, but like, you know, my voice and my dress. And it's, that is so, that's so touching. And it makes, you know, it's inspiring and it makes me want to do this more. And you just never know. It goes to show you never know. So just do your best because you never know who's going to see your videos. <laughs> she helped shape me into like the musician and person, you know, that, that I am. And I would say thank you. And I would tell her that she, you know, she's inspired me and that I love her. I love you, Gwen. <laughs>